Hello, doers. Now, welcome back. Now, let's face it. Paying bills is an unavoidable part of managing any business. It is exceptionally hard if you are a failing business. Now, at Stealthy Wood, where we are a successful business, we always aim to pay our suppliers right on time. Now, not just because it's the right thing to do, but because our business depends on their goods also arriving on time. That's the best way to ensure our customers stay happy and our business stays ever so profitable. Now, with Odoo, we can define when vendor bills should be paid for each purchase order, either before receiving our products or after they're already delivered. Now at Stealthywood, we often reach an agreement with our vendors to wait on sending payment until the products are delivered. We like to do a little bit of a QC if you catch my drift. Now, doing so ensures we don't pay for those missing parts or incur the same cost multiple times. Now, we also have the ability to quickly identify incorrect vendor bills, which helps us maintain our financial health. We don't want to run red. Now, thankfully, the Odoo Purchase app automatically matches information between the purchase order, the vendor bill, and the receipt, ensuring we only pay for received products at the agreed upon price. So, as I will always tell you, oh doers, enough chit chat. Let's jump into our database to see how easy it is to manage our vendor bills with Odoo's purchase app. All right, so first things first, let's make sure the default bill control policy is set correctly for our products. Now to do that, we'll actually go over here to configurations. We're in settings at this point, invoicing section, bill control, and make sure that it's set to received quantities. Perfect. Now, received quantities is now the default setting for every new product we configure. Now, this means when we order products, Odoo will only let us create a bill after we have received at least part of the total order. Now, if we'd selected ordered quantities instead, we could create a vendor bill as soon as we confirmed a purchase order. And, and this is especially cool, since we have our control policy set to receive quantities, our vendor bills will display a should be paid field, letting us know if we have to pay all, some, or the best kind, none of what we owe on a draft bill. And that's just based on what we've actually received. Now to have this though, you'll need to make sure three-way matching is enabled in your purchase settings as well. So make sure that you do that right there. So what if one or more products needs a different bill control policy than what we see here. We can simply override the default bill control policy by going to the product tab on a product's template form and then modifying the value in the control policy field. So remember that. Now for right now though, we're all set. So let's save our changes in this case and move on to the flow. Now, all right, now let's see what happens when we order products with our bill control policy set to received quantities. So. We're gonna click orders, purchase orders, new. In this case, we always need a vendor. Who do I love over here? Azure Interior, they're a great company. And we're gonna add a product. In our case, chair floor protection. And then once we're done, we confirm this. All right, now let's try to create a bill directly. So we're gonna click. And as you can see, oh doers, we get an error message stating that there is nothing to invoice since the product's bill control policy is actually set to received quantities and we haven't received anything yet. Looks like the policy is working so far. So we're gonna click that out. So as you can see with that policy in place, it's actually impossible for us to create a bill at the moment. Oh no, we have no bills to pay. And if we go to the other information tab over here, we notice the order's billing status is set to nothing to bill. Now, to create a bill, we first need to receive at least some of the products. So let's see what happens when we receive the first half of the order. I bet something cool happens. Now, how do we do that? Well, we'll actually click the receipt smart button and then mark the done quantity that says five. Great, I hope you're following. Then we'll validate and click create a back order. And this is an important note. A back order in Odoo is an order that's created when some or all of the products included in a purchase order can't be received, 
with the most common reason being that it's out of stock with the supplier. Hence, back order, not front order. <laughs> Anyways, sorry for the terrible joke. <laughs> All right, once that's done, we'll go back over here via the breadcrumbs. And today it is Wonder Bread for my Murricans. All right, we're going to go into the products tab. Now, we can see that the receive column shows that we've received 5 out of 10 total units for our chair protection product. And on the other information tab, we see the billing status has changed to waiting bills, meaning we need to create a bill. So, we're finally going to pay a bill. Let's do that now, Odooers. Now, when we click create bill, Odoo will take us to the draft bill, where we'll click on the other info tab. Now, I'm going to make a quick note here. Now here, the should be paid field displays whether the bill is awaiting payment or not. In this case, it says yes, because we have received five items and now we can be billed only for five items, not all of them. So we're gonna go over here into the lines tab. Now, before we confirm this, however, let's manually change the quantity just to see what happens. So I'm gonna set it to that. Now, the should be paid field displays exception. Now, this happens because while Odoo recognizes something is wrong with the bill, Odoo assume, assumes actually that you have a good reason for making changes to the draft bill. So, if we go back over here, you'll notice let's change the quantity back to five and add a bill date, let's say today. Then we can confirm, register the payment, and create payments. Now, the bill is marked in what, Odooers? It is marked in payments. However, this should be paid field inside of the other info tab. What does that say? It says it's not going to be set to no until after we actually send the payment to the vendor and mark the bill as paid. Since we're not sending a real payment, though, let me show you how we can manually change the should be paid field. So where are we going to go, Odooers? We're actually going to go to should be paid. No, and then the for status option should be, you know, left checked over here. Now, manually save just to lock that in. Perfect. Now, let's say mysteriously, and somehow this always happens, we've received the rest of the order throughout this 10-minute flow. They're that fast. We'll go back over here to the purchase order via the breadcrumbs, which is still Wonder Bread because it's wonderful. We're going to click Receive Products, and we're going to click into the receipt with the ready status. We're marking this done and we'll validate and we're going to go back again via the purchase orders, via the breadcrumbs. Now, what can we do, Odooers? Well, if one followed my flow, we can now create a second bill for the back order. So we're going to do that. And then what else can we do, Odooers? Well, now that we have our second bill, we can add a bill date. Let's go with today's date again because we're that great and then confirm this. Great. Now, we can also see an overview of all of our purchase orders and their billing statuses by going over here to orders and purchase orders. Now that we've received all the products and we've billed everything, what happens? The billing status for our latest purchase order is now fully billed because we pay all of our bills. Now, while we're here, let me show you a very quick tip. We're going to call this a Jose Ignacio quick tip, although that is a mouthful. Now, if we select all the purchase orders that are currently set to waiting bills and we either, you know, click over here on create bills up here or if we go to action and create vendor bills, we can actually create bills for all of the selected orders in a single click. And that's insanely convenient because one time clicks are the best. Now, well, that's all for this video. We saw how Odoo handles bill price matching and how we can make sure we're always on good payment terms with our vendors. Now, to learn more, I encourage you to check out our other awesome tutorials on Odoo's purchase app. Now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, bro doers. Go grab a snack.